Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Today we are in um, Lux Air Colours. We're very special livery, got no idea what it is, um, but I think it's something to do with um, Luxembourg being the city of culture for this year or something like that, but I don't know. But um, yes, we are flying with it from here in um, Luxembourg. Well, no, no way, honestly, what a surprise. And we are flying to um, Malta today, which is some uh, small island in the sea, basically. So, yeah, there you go. And, uh, yeah, and the PMDG 737800 with the uh, split scimitar winglets. And also a very nice looking freeware scenery. Recently got an update as well. It now it now, it now has a um, interior has been more you know like more done up. So there's more in it now, and uh, I think there's some new uh, ground textures like these here and some new, well more vehicles basically. That's pretty much all it is. And yes, hello Sergey, how are you doing? Right, oh my god, I forgot to do the uh, baggage and stuff. Imagine, so on baggage and catering, and it's not going to work, is it? That's a shame. You know that really is a shame. It honestly is. Right, bear with me one moment whilst I get my checklist open. Because if it's not open, I can't fly this plane. Bear with me, please, honestly. Right, it's okay, I have it open. Right, okay, into the cockpit then. Control 6, get the yaw damper on, not the yaw damper, the battery, sorry. Ah! Well, that's annoying. That really is annoying. I have just tossed the plane and I get a bloody warning. I've got no idea where that's coming from, to be quite honest. Yes, Doc, help. Help, Doc. Throttle is up. There we go. Thanks, Doc, for resolving my issue, as always. Right, okay. Now I can breathe. Oh, no, no, I can't. <laughs> you can't have to be taking the piss, honestly. That's the ground power not on. No, it's not. <laughs> no, God, say. Right. Let me get the ground GPU, whatever it's called. <laughs> right. <laughs> I just jinxed it like that, honestly. What a noob. Right. Okay. Ground, ground power car is coming. So uh, maybe now I can cut the ground power and just shut that thing up. There we go. I'm a steady and slow learner. Right. Ground power is now on. Okay, panel light, emergency light, arms close the guard. Alright, position light, so yep, logo light, and uh, that is pretty much it. Okay. Now we go down to the FMC. Okay, return fuel. Oh my god. Why is it in the wrong measurement? Again. How do I change this stock? Help! Menu, BMDG, Setup, Aircraft, um, 
um, displays, page 9. We want it in kilograms. There we go. Right, okay. Now we try again. Nefis actions fuel. Okay. Right, kgs. We're going to want. 9358 Okay Now we return payload Zero fuel weight Is 62.2 Wait, so this means that um, dock that Luxembourg use um, pounds and not kilograms imagine right 62.2 .2. I think that is in now possibly right okay now we go to uh, init ref no menu FMC pause in it uh, next page copy this previous page put it in there reference airport Luxembourg Findel which is Echo Lima Lima X-Ray and this is gate Alpha 8 not in database Echo try gate 8 not in database, are you taking the piss? oh uh, well route um, Luxembourg to Malta which is Lima Mike Mike Lima stonks and yeah, we, what do we do now? Request a flight plan? I think we do. It makes logical sense to do so. And now I wait for the flight plan to come through. Yawn, yawn, yawn. Right, it's ready. Load. Now I wait another 10 minutes for it to load. Come on. Quick, 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 there we go, activate, execute, there we go, nice. Has it come through? Possibly. Um, uh, departure, arrival, departure, runways 2 4 via the. Ooh, that's a nice one, I might, I might go for that one in there, look. We'll go for the Dick 5 X ray, I think we'll do that one, that's a uh, nice one to have. But actually, we need the GTQ 2 X ray and <coughs> execute that arrival ILS 3 1 no star and it is via Kekor I think lol one moment one moment one moment yes it is via Kekor on ILS 3 1 no star execute okay right next thing to do is go to the init reference page and request all of this why does it take this long for honestly like come on it should be instant right there we go load execute right winds Oh, two six five slash o three eight, two six five slash o three eight, and the cost index is going to be thirty nine. And transition, not got a clue. So if you that's correct. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Transition alt. I've not got a clue. Let me just Google it. One moment. Luxembourg. Transition, transition, altitude. Like you're saying, 4,500 feet, so I'll go with that. So, 4,500 in there. There we go. Right, okay, next thing to do is um, go to legs page and then uh, route data request winds. Wait for the winds to come through. I think we've got a crosswind all the way down to Malta today, so it's not too bad, I don't think. Right, okay, <clears throat> yes talk, I know, 
I have learnt to Google it, so that means you don't have to know what it is now, I can find it myself. You can not bother doing it for me anymore, but I'm more than capable of doing it myself. Right, load. Execute. Right. Okay, now go to N1 limit. Cell, not got a clue. We'll go to tier 1 and take off and flaps 5 and center of gravity. Okay, trim, okay, right, okay, V2, 1, 5, 2. And the trim we set at 5.19. My sim just froze there, apologies. That's why I had a buffer, not stonks. I've gone way past it, haven't I? There we go. Right. Okay. And don't say my stream is lagging again. Please don't say that it's lagging again. Oh my god, please don't. Please don't lag. Imagine lagging. That's lagging, isn't it? Anyway, um, back to the checklist. Right, we've done all of that now. Actually, no, I forgot to do one thing, actually. I, oh, have I? I don't, I don't think I have. No, I have. I forgot to do, um, what do you call it, the NADP stuff. Forgot to do that one moment. So, back to M1 limits. Uh, take off, next page. And I'm just going to shove in 2,000 on the mall because I do that every single flight. I honestly do. Right, okay, that, that is done now. Right, now we go back to the overhead panel and we turn on the yaw damper and now we're the fuel pump, so we just check for fuel in the centre, yep, so we turn all the pumps on, all of them. There we go, right, um, seatbelt sign on, window heat on. <coughs> Bless me, I've still got a cold. I really am sorry. Hydraulic pumps on. Okay. LNR packs on. Cruise alt set 370. Landing alt, let me just Google it. Just going to Google the transitional attitude of Malta. One moment. No, the landing gulps, not transitional. And it is 300 feet. Bang on as well. Crazy. Right, now we can start the APU. Okay, there we go. Right, now we go to back here. Um, we want terrain and traffic, and we do the same on this side, terrain and traffic, okay, right, okay, now take the course, it's going to be 2 for something. I can change it on the runway if needs be, but for now I can't see what it is. Right, there we go. Right, um, heading as well needs to be on 240. Actually, I think... I think the course is actually 239. So, I'll put 239 in there. So... I'll do it again here. Imagine doing this three times. Shocking. 
Right. There we go. Okay. Now I've done that. Okay. Right. All it should set. <coughs> um, let me just check Volanta actually to check for any ATC. Flight director on. When we're heading two three eight, okay. Thanks for the clarification there, Doc. Right. Okay, Volanta is now open and there is no ATC in Luxembourg. <coughs> yikes. 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 Auto brake RTO. Reset the fuel flow. Okay, now I can connect to uh, that sim. I shan't be a minute. Okay, and now on that sim, and we'll go to Unicom on one two two decimal eight, and set the squawk two thousand. And Tara as well. Okay, right. Back to the overhead panel. APU Gen Bus on, oh dear, APU Gen Bus on, right, APU Bleed also on, and you know what, that's pretty much it, we're ready for pushing the start, would you believe it, so here is the livery, um, it appears, I googled it actually, Last I was loading Volanta up, and it's for Luxembourg being the European city of culture for this year, actually. I thought it was something to do, actually, with, with the um, Eurovision Song Contest, but it says ESC, but it, that's not what it is, not stonks. And it's actually um, for the city of culture. And you know what? It is a nice livery, you know. I do like it very uh, different. Right, anyway, let's go for a little tour around this scenery. So it's freeware and you can download it on flightsim.to and it gets updated very regularly so it can only get better, can't get worse. <coughs> If we make our way to the front terminal then, as you can see, we've got um, the entrance, I guess. Airport de Luxembourg. Here it is. We've got some random shops here. We've got a uh, baggage down there. More shops. A departures board. Where's my flight then? Imagine my flight is not on here. Where is it LG985 to Malta? That's a shame. It's not even there. What a joke this is. That's, that is not Stonks. Is it on this one? No, it's the exact same as the other one. And here is the checking desks. I'm not sure how people sit behind that. But, uh, yeah. There you go. They must just lay on it, lay on the side of it, and then. Uh... Also, my question is: my question is, where the hell does the baggage go? Like, where the hell are you going to put it? Anyway, we'll ignore that. 
And let's go to uh, security, I guess. Yeah, security. Look at me, absolute badass. Security man, how a pog. And I think you go downstairs now to the uh, departures hall. Here we are. What's in there? No idea what's in there. And here you can just sit and wait for your plane, isn't it? And here's me. What an elite. Looks there. What an airline. <clears throat> Isn't she a beauty? Stonks. Ooh, that is lovely. That really is lovely. Right, anyway. What's in here? Oh, just some more departure gates. Fair enough. Let's make our way then to baggage reclaim. How do we find this baggage through here? Okay. Oh, here we are. Welcome to Luxembourg. But the thing is, I'm leaving it, so why say Malcolm Kappa? <coughs> Do you know what? This terminal has been modelled quite well, it really has. And there's the um, whole airport for you. Actually, what's up here? Oh, there's so much, isn't there? What the hell? What's even in this stuff? We've got we've got a lounge now. Like what the hell is happening? What the hell? There's so much stuff in here. So we've got a lounge. And now I can just look down here at um, all the peasants who have got no lounge. Imagine. Like how do I get out of here? That's my question. What's up here? No idea what's up there. On a clue. Right, let's get out of here. Right. We'll make our way now. Over here. Um, unfortunately, this has not been modelled in. Um, this walk, walkaway bridge, whatever it's called. But these are the low cost hands, I believe. Could be wrong. Yeah. Ryanair definitely uses these. Look at the state of the walls. Yeah, Ryanair definitely park here. So, yeah. That's, that's pretty much it, really. That's the whole scenery. Control tower also down there. So, yeah. Do you know what? I actually do like this scenery, I think it's quite nice really. Let's go for a quick walk around, make sure my players are broken. Oh yes, very nice. These winglets are actually so cool, they really are. I don't know how they work, but they do look nice.
Oh, here's the cabin. Excuse me, window blinds open. Arse. So yeah, here's a cabin. Um, the one in the Phoenix is much better. Can't lie about that, but uh, it's still it's still okay, I guess. And yeah, that's pretty much that then. That's your whole scenery. Let's get a wing view. Look at that. Oh yes. Very nice. Right, that is enough mucking about now, isn't it? Back into the cockpit. Right, okay. Let me just check for any ATC. No, we have no ATC. What a shame. <sighs> right, back to the checklist. We want to get rid of all the ground power. So um, FS actions, ground services, release. Next page, next page, release. Next page, and that's pretty much it, really. We are now good for uh, pushback, I think. Right, actually, no, we're not. I've got the wheel chocks still on. So, ground services, remove the chocks. And I also want the beacon light on, or as it's called in the building, the anti-collision light on. Right, parking brake off, yes, okay. And then our packs off. Right, okay. Evening, Gav. Even though it's morning for me, but uh, yes, good evening to you. One moment. Just got to uh, do this pushback thing. One moment. Right. Are we there yet? Wish we were. Oh my god, will you zoom out, man? It's not going to zoom out, is it, for some reason? How can I, like, drag it? I want to drag this, and I can't. Oh my god. Sorry about the black screen, I apologise, sorry. Why can't I zoom out though? Oh, we sold this. No, I don't want to enter it. Jesus, man. Hold control and scroll. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. That is perfect. There we go. Right, okay. And now I can go back to this again and request pushback. Cockpit to ground. This is ground. Stand by. Come on, hurry up. Okay, My passenger doesn't hold a Malta. Hurry up. All doors and hatches closed and all ground equipment is removed. Please have parking brakes. 
The parking brakes are set. You may lift. Parking brakes set. Lifting the aircraft. Lol. Imagine. <coughs> You're cleared for start and push. Okay, cleared for push start. Please release parking brake. You've just told me to set them. Like, come on, bro. There parking brakes are released. Commencing pushback. You can start the engines in sequence. You will start in the sequence. How cool, lol. Forgot to set this, never mind. Am I gonna hit that pole behind me? One minute. No, they're fine. Parking okay, pushback completed. Please set your parking brake. Parking brake set. Parking brake set. Lowering aircraft. Ground. You may disconnect. Okay, sir. Clear to disconnect. Pin has been removed. See you at the side. Have a good flight. Holding position waiting for the visual. Thank you and goodbye. See ya. <clears throat> Lol. This is quite funny, you know. Lol. Back to the cockpit. One moment. That's wrong, that's flaps two, I want flaps five. Thank you. Right, okay, I think the engines are both ready to go now, I think, so. Um, back up here. Hello from Alabama. How are you doing? Wait a minute. Is it like 5am for you then? Jesus. Imagine. Right. APU Jimbus on. APU bleed off. Engine starts, switches to continuous. Um, Pro Pete's on. <coughs> right. LNR packs. Auto isolation valve also. Um, APU bleed off. Already done that. APU off. Um, flaps 5, yeah. Flight control, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. And we can turn off this thing. There we go. Police car, imagine. Yes, Garth, you are flying along. The flight is around two hours, but you can spawn um, somewhere else if you'd like. Let me just see. So, we're going to be flying over um, Zurich, Milan. 
that's pretty much it, Milan. So, if you find the longest pawn at Milan and they have a cut time, it's um, pretty well, actually. Or you could do uh, Genoa, that's my departure. Milan, Zurich, or Geneva, if you want. Right, okay. Let me just turn this off. 30 minutes, I look at the same. Jeez, how much mods have you got installed? Right. Taxi light on. Uh, back to the checklist. Well, may turn off parking brake. Okay. Right. Let's get taxi in. Well, if it will take that long, Gav, I would recommend spawning at um, somewhere like Rome, if you want. But I think Milan is the best bet. Spawn at Milan. Whoa! Move away, car. Could have stopped. Give way to the planes. Shocking. Well, if you're all going to be this long, I would recommend spawning at Catania. Um, because Air Malta and Ryanair fly a little bit. So, yeah, I think they do actually. I think Ryanair and Air Malta they fly between um, Catania on Sicily and Malta. It's about a 20 minute flight in the 737 or the uh, A320. Imagine still updating, Doc. Imagine that. Just checking for traffic. No, there is no traffic, so I'm not even going to bother saying on saying literally in unicom. I just want to be pure silence, not say a word in unicom, because imagine talking to myself, honestly. Right, let's just go.
airspeed's alive. Why does it keep going back to two four? Oh, sod this. What is the plane doing to me? The throttle, I'm pulling it down and it, and it just wants to go full throttle for some reason. I'll try again. Okay, I think we're going to survive now, possibly. You are from Malta. Nice, very nice. Small nation, isn't it? And there's Luxembourg, I think. And there's the airport, where we have them um, just took off from. Okay, we've passed transition arts so we can go with standard pressure. And we are now flying along the border of Germany and Luxembourg. Which I think is this river here. And they're flying right along it. Well, they were, but now they're not. Right. 
get all the lights off. There we go. Banding gear off, auto brake off as well. <coughs> Engine start switches can go off, that can go to both. Um, and that's pretty much it really I think. Actually no it's not. Time only off, the seatbelt signs are also. Right. And that's pretty much it. Oh, there it is, look. European Cabs of Culture. That's what it is, look. This livery. Okay, I'm now going in a straight line down to Malta, pretty much, straight down. And um, if the sim froze there, I apologise, I really do. It does that quite often for no reason, but it is what it is. And just down there is, um, what do you call it, saw booking, I believe, something like that. Hello gameplays, hello. It's been a while. Oh my god, man. Why have you timed him out? It has been long indeed, welcome back. Welcome back to China. Oh no. Nightbot does not like you our gameplays, oh no. Oh dear Nightbot. I can't believe he's been timed out for 10 minutes from Nightbot. Nightbot, what have you done, Nightbot?
Got some clouds there, not quite low down though. I think. Maybe not. So, let's have a look at today's route, shall we? So we left Luxembourg, we left in about 10 seconds, it's that small. And we flew to Germany for like 2 seconds. And then we are now in France. And then we'll fly over Germany again for about another 20 seconds. And then we go to uh, Switzerland, fly over that. Then we go over Italy. Oh, look at that, fly over Italy there for about a millisecond. Then Switzerland again for another half a millisecond. Then over Italy again for another half a millisecond. Then we go back over Italy again. Then we go over Switzerland again. Then Italy again. Then um, the sea. That would be nice. We'll, we'll get some nice wing views on the left. Flying uh, down this coast here of Italy. Then we go over Sicily and then we'll start to descend around here into Malta. So yes, yeah, sort of nice route we have upon us. Fuel, okay, we're in the centre tanks, off. There we go. Right, so according to Volant, we've got 1 hour 51 minutes to go. Okay. No problem, uh, the aviator, how are you doing? I'm sorry about Nightbots just casually banning people for no reason, I apologise. doing great got a new plane in it spent 60 quid on this plane I really did Oh. 
Yeah, indeed. Great play. And I'm still learning it, but we're getting there. We really are. It's still too early now, it really is. And just down there is um, Strasbourg. Here it takes a while to get used to, but I think we'll get there at some point. Indeed it is, I'm loving it, I really am, it's great. Unfortunately it's a big risk because you have to spend the money, not know how to fly it, and then uh, learn it. Which I took a risk. I don't know what, what currency is it, I don't know, is that... Um, Indian something. What's the R now? What 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 did India use? Rupert or something? No, it's not Rupert, is it? I forget what it's. India, yeah, yeah, that's it. Rupert. Rupert. How are clicks? I mean, it were. Geo gets to win, it shan't be long honestly. You just want to get to cruise first. And then we'll see. A3, what's that, the A329, oh the A320, yeah. Um, if I was you, I would definitely go with the PMD G737, 100%. I have both, personally, but I prefer this much more, I really do. So yes, I would 100% recommend this instead. It may be a bit more expensive, but it is worth it, I feel. Just £10 more, I think. But that £10 is a huge difference, what you get. Yeah, indeed, totally would get the uh, 737. But I'm back in the Phoenix tomorrow, so if you want to see how that um, goes, then you can 
come and have a look because I'm be flying it tomorrow from where they call it Leipzig in Germany to uh, Kishinau in Moldova. Okay, we're about to enter Switzerland. Well, there's a lot of lands that you see for your 20 as well, but I've, I've already got the Neo, so I don't think I really need the Phoenix value, but I've, I've, got, I've, I've got it already, so no going back now. And also, I only bought this plane for Ryanair, to be quite honest, and I thought, you know, I'll use it anyway. What's that beeping? Um, I think it's just Vatsim. I hope is. Almost at cruise alt. Great to hear. You know what? It actually does, doesn't it? It sounds so similar. No, GSX not worth it, don't buy it. I've not got it personally, but I have seen videos and oh my goodness, it looks awful. It's just full of bugs, it really is, it's quite disappointing. Yeah, I'll probably pick it up when the bugs are fixed, <clears throat> so at the moment, I think it's not great at all, and the price, well, it's a bit expensive, like, they're charging, what, £35 for some stairs and some, and some buses, whereas at this plane, it's twice the price, but you get an actual plane, so... I don't know, it's it's a tough one but actually it's not really tough at all. I would not I would just stay away from GSX. Let me just turn Discord off, getting ping 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 ping. There we go. I'm still getting pings for and that's, that is actually so annoying. Uh, 
I don't know how to turn that off. One moment. Oh my god. Right, okay, I'm gonna fix this. Okay, I think I've done it now. The, the um, beeping should stop from Discord, it really should. Right, so it cools old. Very nice. And we're also a Switzerland as well. Hmm, strange. Can't even clear it. How much is the how much is it now? Um FSX? I think it's about ten quid in it. Not expensive I don't think. And here's some mountains, very nice mountains on. Look at that there, Jesus. And 
And there's a plane just down there if you can see it. Nah, I think it's a bit too small to see on stream. It's about 10 pixels, it's that small. Seven euros, Christ, that is actually quite cheap. Yeah, I mean it is like a 15 year old game of Sabor with um, VLO spec, but if you have some mod to install they could use a lot of uh, like storage and FPS and all, absolutely gobble it all up. Indeed, sir, they look very nice, don't they? And there's a plane just there. If you want to do the same waypoint, so hopefully it moves a bit. We'll see. Yeah, it's just um, that's it. And just there is the uh, Malamal Penza Airport, just there. Good job, sir. Well, thank you. Much appreciated. Right, back in the cockpit. What a privilege to be called, sir. How pog. So, yes, anyway. I think we're about halfway there now, actually. I think. Could be wrong. Yeah. We're actually out a third of the way there, so I don't know, about another. We've been there for like half an hour, I think, so we've probably got an hour to go, I'm not sure. I'm really, I'm really not sure. And there's the land just there, and oh my god. See that plane just there. Oh dear. 
I think we may crash, you know. You can just see him there, look. Lol. Anyway, there's my Lambo Penzo Airport just there. And here's my Lamb, very big. That's what she said. And I think that just there is Linarte Airport. Take a rest? No. I've just woke up. Probably a bit too early to wake up. Maybe. And then Bergamo is down there somewhere. Actually there it is, I'm just about to see. So yeah, we've got a plane just there. We may crash, we'll see. I think he's um, flying away now. Possibly. A fly request. I'll check the um, Discord in a moment. You know what, I think I'll get a drone and take it over. Because we've got some plane here. So I thought, why not, let's have a look at him. Here it is. Some Swiss air guy, actually. Lol. See my country off down there, look how cool is that? Anyway, back to our plane, that's enough uh, of someone else's plane tour. Now I'll go back to my plane as well. Then.
G flight of it, yeah, I'll do that shortly. It's cost of a flyby first, see if it works. Hmm, it does work, you know. Our pog. Let's try again. Where's the plane gone? I don't know where it's gone. Let's work this out. Okay, it's down here. Do it one more time. I just got to increase the rotation speed as well. That's enough fur uh, missing down now, I don't know. You have to go, no problem. See you soon. Yes, I will stream tomorrow at the same time. And, um, well, it is exactly the same time, about 9am UK time. I'm flying from uh, Leipzig in Germany to uh, Kishinau, Moldova. With the Fenix A320.
No problem, adios. Good evening. Have a good evening, should I say. MBA three thirty when? Um, I think I'll need to do a flight in it first off stream to see if it actually does work. I might try it tonight actually, Doc. So you can fly along with me if you want. Just wake up at two a.m. and we'll fly the A three thirty from Belgrade to um, I don't know somewhere. We might do uh, Belgrade to Skopje, what route that, that, what route that is, you know. Yeah, I think I'll take the A330 on that route. Um, Belgrade to Skopje. At about um, 8 o'clock tonight, possibly. Talk. You can't call the PMP A330 a proper A330, it's shit, it honestly is, but I'll try it anyway. I might do a meme stream. I might do a stream of it, absolutely slate it for two hours and then get tons of views, simple. As simple as that. Put in title, do not download this plane. Then you get about 10,000 views, then you get loads of dislikes, and then lots of um, revenue from money as well. That's 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 great. So I may consider doing that, you know. But we'll see what happens. But for now, I'm more um, focused on flying this 737. And also tomorrow, I have a surprise. I really do. You're going to be amazed. You really will be. When I land in Kishinau tomorrow, I will have a surprise. And you are not going to believe it. But the thing is, Doc, though, I'm a realistic channel. I really am. I do realistic flights, and I fly realistic planes. And PMP A330 is not one of them. And the reason why my sub count is so low is because the uh, routes I fly are just purely random and just out of this world, like literally useless routes. So, right, name me one person who actually searches um, Jakarta to Sibrong Barong. Like literally no one Googles that. And that's why I don't get a lot of views, but I don't care. I really don't care. I, li I like flying shitty routes, to be quite honest. <laughs> but honestly it's great it really is it's great flying these absolute out of nowhere rooms I, I, I love it to be quite honest but yes Doc, I may do an A330 stream I may do and it will be with um, Air Serbia perhaps with their A330 can't wait honestly I'm not doing Garuda I'm doing Air Serbia Doc Air Serbia from Belgrade to um Possibly Skopje or something like that, or Sarajevo or Tirana, we'll see, or London Heathrow. Because when Air Serbia got the A330, they, f they flew it all over the Balkans, I think. But now I think it flies only to uh, Tianjin in China and uh, New York, and that's pretty much it. So yeah. Air Serbia, they do fly between Belgrade and uh, Tianjin for some reason. Don't know why, but they do. Right, anyway. I think it's time for coffee. Just down there is uh, Genoa. And that was actually the first place where I landed the Phoenix AP20 on stream. So my first Tuna Phoenix flew it to Genoa. 
just there, I'll hog. And my first 737 to dream was by far more goated. Where I flew from Stansa to Dol Dijon uh, Besançon. Like, imagine being that goated to fly these routes, like, honestly. But yes, tonight I think I might fly the um, A330. I might stream it in Discord, actually. Don't know what will fly, though, but we'll see. But yeah, I think I'll, um, might do a Thomas Cup flight or something. Gatwick to uh, Palmer, I don't know, something like that. Thomas Cook. I flew the um, A330 on stream quite a few times, but uh, actually, I actually, I don't think I have. Let me just check if I actually have done. I don't think it's even improved because I've seen no streams on it at all. So I don't think it even has. Oh yes, of course I have. I flew it twice. Okay, and that was Dublin to Lanzarote. I can't remember flying that. Once I got no clue. And uh, Jerez or Jerez, I think it's Jerez, to East Midlands, which coincidentally was was uh, my only cargo flight. That is the only cargo flight I've ever done, and it was this one, A330. Imagine the nostalgia, honestly. These shitty views. Have you I've even flown Jeddah to Asmara? Like, what the hell? Why have I flown there? Oh my god, these routes are just pure trash, honestly. Why did I fly these? Really? I really flew these? Honestly? But yeah. I've even, I've even flown... The, oh, I, oh, I need to fly that, actually. The um, Sukhoi Superjet. This one here. Yeah, I need, I need to fly that again, you know. It's actually a great little plane, I love it. I need to do another flight with that, actually. Possibly. I might do it um, in a few months, maybe. Oh my god. Start giving me educations all the time and just go away. Oh my god, go back to the wing view, please. There we go. There we go. And we could get a nice view of uh, Rome, possibly, in about 20 minutes. What do you mean, Doc? I've always realised that. My routes aren't weird either, they're actually so good, like, honestly. Let me just go through some of my last routes, honestly. Actually, do you know what I'll do? I'll go to my last 10 streams and see if anyone else has flown the exact same route. Right, Luxembourg to Malta. Well, someone's definitely flown that, honestly. That's a, that's a elite route. Lima to Cusco. Luxembourg to Malta. Let's see if someone streamed this. Has someone streamed it before? No, what do you believe it? Just me. Just me, honestly. Right, let's have a look at something else. Promise to best love, oh my god. You know what? Maybe I'm just realising this. Promise to practice lava. <coughs> Real life though, not on the flight sim. No, no one's done it either, honestly. Right, so I've got another one. 
Doncaster to Roos. Mm, I think someone's possibly done that actually. I really do think they have. Real life though, imagine. Imagine. No, that no one's done it in this sim. Imagine. Imagine this. Actually, let me just say my screen that would be quite useful, wouldn't it? Just to prove Doc's point. Right, here we go, right. There's no streams for that. It's only me that comes up. Imagine that. Right, so look for a different one. Muscats are ducking, oh my god. Muscats are ducking, flights him. Actually, you know what? I think one guy is fluid. This one. Just this guy. Yeah, just just one guy. That's it. Right, <laughs> what else have we got? Oh, yes. Right, this last one. London. One minute. London, Stansted, to Dole. Yes, getting them. First one to come up. Actually, this, this just proves it, doesn't it, right? When you search these shitty-ass routes, my whole channel comes up. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, no, I think it's time for coffee now. And I might get a yoghurt as well. I'm gonna land, I'll have a sandwich for dinner. That'd be great. And also, if I've not told you already, um, tomorrow's stream, I will have a surprise. So, when I land in Kishinau, you will have a big surprise and you are not going to believe it. But I can't wait. I really can't wait. Anyway, back in 10 minutes, going to match? No, possibly 5 minutes. I'm going to go for a world record time. Because I'm going to have a coffee, actually. Actually, before I go, let me just check Valanta. Actually, we're going quite well, you know. About halfway there now. 1 hour, 2 minutes to go. And we've got, um... Doc and Gavit Rome. Do you know what? I've never flown from uh, Rome in the sim. I really haven't. Literally, not a single airport in Rome I've flown from. Like, honestly, I've never touched a single one. I should get the um, MK Studios uh, Rome airport, but I don't really want to. But MK Studios, the sceneries aren't that great, to be quite honest. So, Gavit is flying Osprey, of course he is. Of course. And Doctor Mud is trying Air Malta. What a chad. <coughs> Air Malta, what an airline, honestly. You imagine just two people at home. Shocking. And also, the kids are back at school now, so the number of people on Vatsim has hugely decreased. It's massive. It's like. There's about 30 planes in Europe on that sim, it is dead. It really is, but that's that's good. But the bad thing is, less ATC, not stonks. Right, I shall be back. In about five minutes, making a cup of coffee, of course. So, uh, yeah. See you then.
I have just come back because I have seen the absolute mega stream lag. I really have, and what the hell is that shit? Let's see what happens now. One moment. Okay, it's back to normal, I think. So, okay. I'll leave it like that. And I'll be back in... Uh, Two minutes, the kettle is still boiling, oh my god. The kettle, it takes ages. Okay, I am now back with my coffee and the yoghurt. Sorry, a cup of tea, sorry. Right, so oh my days. Is this stream still lagging? And hello, Mike Bravo J21, how are you doing? Yes, um, I don't have these commands. <laughs> All the streamers might, but um, I don't, I'm afraid. Oh my god, someone's... Someone's cutting something outside. 
totally not loud at all. Right, okay. <clears throat> Let's get a wing view, shall we? Actually, the scent, when is that coming up? So, Todd is in about 200 miles, so. Not too bad, I don't think. Let's see if it lags one moment. It's lagging now. Let alone not in the cockpit. Actually, you know what? It's it's a bit better because five minutes ago it was just lagging like what the hell? It was just awful. It was like one frame a minute. It was that bad. But now, you know what? It's not too bad. There indeed, it's just Italy down there, and um, I think it's Rome as well, just about there. We should see it in about, actually, if we just change the view, we should see it. One moment. Yes, there is Rome, just there. You can see the airport just there. Well, you can see it very, very vaguely. Nice views indeed. Rome is great. Never flown there in the sim, but that's because I don't have any scenery for it. Well, I've flown to Milan, so there you go. Breathing. Okay. On Volanta. Will I do a flight with Terram in the future? Uh, yes, I was going to actually. But that, but that, but that will be um, in October, perhaps. Flying from uh, Bucharest down to uh, Tel Aviv in Israel. The 737. And on the ground in Rome, we've got uh, Doc and Gav. Do you know what? I could take the drone to go and watch them take off. No, it, it's too far. I can't do that. It, it's way too far. So, scratch that. We can watch them land instead. Right, so I have finished my uh, snack between breakfast and lunch, help hog. So, Rome is there. Gavin the chat has just took off from there, just now. And then Doctor on board will follow. About two minutes after him, or well, maybe five minutes for spacing.
There we go. Now my coffee is smooth as a baby's butt. <laughs> Copper. Back to the cockpit. Okay, so Todd is. Uh, I don't know. It's 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 coming up though. On my way. Yes, I saw you take off of Atlanta. I was going to get the drone and bring it down to a room, but it's too far to move and I can't be asked. We can watch your landings instead. I feel as though that's a much smarter idea. Perhaps. Let's see how this cup of tea tastes. I've gone for a cup of tea today, actually. I said coffee earlier, but no. No, no. Can't be arsed. I've got some tea bags to use up, so. Very sweet, but, you know. Probably a bit too much sugar, actually. I possibly used a uh, tablespoon instead of a teaspoon. And now I've got, like... 10 grams of sugar, well not, well 20 grams, like no, I don't want 20 grams of sugar. So I want to have a look at this livery, see what's actually on it. Where's my plane gone? Hello, plane? Oh, there she is, look. There she is. So this livery, I've got no clue what it's for. I don't, I don't know what it's for. Indeed, my brother. I do it every single stream. I'm trying to keep a streak of a coffee. And I haven't failed yet. I really haven't. So this livery, it does actually exist in real life, and it is for this European Cobstall Culture, Luxembourg, I imagine. And you know what, it's very strange and interesting livery, it really is. It's even on the wing bits as well. But oh my god, what a livery this is. The way they fade those dots is just beautiful. Such a nice look for you know. Sometimes it's tea, sometimes it's coffee, but if it's an evening stream I often go for a hot chocolate. And that will be the case this winter. When it's cold, we drink hot chocolate, isn't it? So we've got a train, that's a very nice train. Trinula Tool. And we've got the um Flag of Luxembourg, but it's actually not. I think it's a coat of arms, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's very different, isn't it? And this is what I call a plane's arse. Here it is. It's got two of them.
the textures on this they are uh, moderate they really are moderate I mean, look at that 144p quality right there that is quite disappointing but uh, the wings they aren't too bad the wing flex is also terrible it really is a terrible wing flex I couldn't imagine. I could not imagine sitting in that aisle seat. It's just awful. It is torture. I know. And anyway, here's a cabin. You know what? It's not that bad. It really isn't that bad. It honestly is not. I've had much worse cabin. Uh, what do they call them? Cabin models in flight sims. The Phoenix is miles better, but. It's still okay, I guess. Some liveries have their own custom um, cabins, but this one I don't think does. Imagine, look, say, business class. And also, look at these lucky passengers. They get to sit in economy, right? And they get these absolute big screens to use. Like, what is the logic in that? Yeah, I think m most um, LCCs are like that. Like, and and uh, LCC being a low cost carrier, they all have absolute awful cabins. Like Ryanair, they've got leather um, seats and plastic backs. It's just. It just makes no sense. It really makes no sense. But I think they've got a more modern cabin now. We're still the same material. Leather seat and a plastic back, which is uh, strange, you know. We'll get ready for descent um, very soon, actually. But I think I'm going to play just one game of Geo, I guess. Just one game, honestly. Let me just drag out this screen. <coughs> there we go. Actually, let's look at some more mods first. What add ons have we got? Mm, not much. Not much has been added since I last checked. <laughs> what is he using light mode for? Honestly. <laughs> he might have used his light mode, honestly. <laughs> oh, I can't believe him. <coughs> right, anyway. To you, I guess there we go. Oh no. Yes, I've used Wazir about three times. I flew Luton to Budapest, Luton to Lisbon, and Doncaster to uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? Tenerife, Rina Sofia. To the South Airport. That shit. Uh, the legroom is quite bad, but other than that. Very cheap, aren't they? Right, competitive. We'll have one game of countries and then I'll drink my cup of tea and then we'll prepare for a descent and then we'll descend and then we'll land. Simple as that. Right, so let's have it. Let's try and get a win. Wait, is my screen on? Here it is, never mind. My bad. I've got no clue what this is. Honestly, no clue. And people have got it right straight away, and I've got no idea how. But 
Because I've got no clue what this is. I've got a minute to get it anyway, so no rush. I think it looks more like um, Scandinavia, but it could be wrong. What does that say? I can't read that language. Why can I not nail this country? Um, I'll do it after this game, Doc. This is more important, isn't it? Kappa. I think I'll have to 50-50. And just guess. Yeah, we're going to have to. Sweden. I knew it was Scandinavia, but I don't. I don't want to guess and just risk. Like I don't. I don't, want, I don't want to do that. Right. Okay. I think this is Malaysia. Oh, that there, there's the proof. Yeah, it was quite a tough one then. So I just took the risk and uh, went for a 50-50. Right, this is definitely Switzerland. No, no questions asked. Or is it Austria? No, it should be Switzerland. This. What a strange track. How cool is that? This is the UK. 100% It's getting easier now It really is I'm all through, would you believe it? Right side of the road I've got What looks to be Spanish on that sign I'm going to say, but no, I think it's Portuguese, it's like Brazil. Crap. They were all wrong. Maybe it's, um, what do you call it, Bolivia. Wait, what happened, Gav? Yeah, I'm gonna say Bolivia. No, I don't know. Damn it! Crap! It can't be Australia because on a, in Australia they're on the left, and here they're on the right. So I don't think it'll be Australia. And I can't even go past that. It's taking the mic. And I got one guess left as well. And I can't even read that either. It's South America, and I'm just going to have to guess it Mexico, and hope it's right. It's not Mexico, so I'm just guessing. Um, Ecuador, Ecuador, Ecuador. Yeah, I'm saying it. Get in! Get in! Oh dear, God. You were close, Mike, but it was Ecuador. That was a, just a lucky guess, honestly. Right, next round then. My PC is frozen, I can't guess. I'm back. Thank God for that. Right, okay. That looks French, so I'm going to say France, aren't I? Oh, for God's sake, I'm going to say... Uh, Belgium then, maybe? No... Shoot... Maybe it's Luxembourg. Actually, it's not. What the hell is it, then? It's, oh, God. It's probably uh, Switzerland, isn't it? Get in. Get in there. 
I keep forgetting that Swiss would speak French as well. Especially in Geneva, it's, it's like it's like France. It's, it's, well, it's Swiss and not France. Geneva is like pure France, honestly, it's weird. Right, Israel, quick, quick. I'll wait five seconds. Okay, now I'll guess. No problem, Gav. You can just direct to a waypoint and then it's all forgotten about and you've gone absolute speed. Right, okay, what is this? What the hell is this? Right, um, Vetro. I'm gonna say Lithuania. Crap, Latvia. Italy, man. Come on. Italy, honestly. Right, let's check Valanta. Right. Gav is in front. Doc is behind. It's a uh, decent enough space, you know, I'd say. So, this airport has no um, star or SID all planes basically just um, go to Gozo essentially WT what's that right I think I'm going to prepare for this scent now that would be a very logical scent to do so so Come on here, turn the screen off. We've played one game of Geo Guess we and lost it. Shambolic. War Thunder, yeah. I had that game about three years ago. But uh, I just got fed up with it. Maybe I should start playing it again. But we'll see. <laughs> this has been my first change. Petra, hello, how are you doing? Good afternoon to you. If you're from Spain, then hello and good afternoon. If you're from South America, then good morning. Right, okay, let's get Doc's checklist open. One moment. Right, okay. We're going to want to go control 3, descent, forecast, request winds. Do I speak Spanish? Yes, I do. I speak a bit of Spanish. I did it at GCSE and I got a grade A, so I know some stuff. Right, execute that. Um, Q&H at Malta or Lukwa is 1021. And the ISAR is 4, so we're going to put 4 slash 1 zero. It's too potato. <laughs> that is not stonks, honestly. Maybe one day, maybe one day you'll get what you want. And you can play this absolutely amazing scene. Right, transition level, let me just Google what it is. And it's going to be 5,000 feet. So put that there. There we go. Then we can go to lakes. Next page, actually. I'll just fix this. Previous. Right, I got the runway, and I'm going to fix, put it in there. Slash 10. And slash 4 as well. Okay. Right. I go to init reference. <coughs> Bless me. 
Oh dear, gross weight is a devil, 66.6, .6, oh no. But the actual gross weight is going to be um, 65.1. Who knows, Mike, because this sim, it's got another 10 years on it at least, so if you've got 10 years to get that money, just get a PC, honestly. Money well spent, this sim, honestly. Honestly, I just love it so much. You are doing very good. How am I doing? I'm doing I'm doing great as well, thank you. Right, so we're going to have flaps 40. Flaps, that is a bit too high speed. I just want to get down safely, you know what I mean. So, we'll leave that in there. Me gusta Espanol es muy ben bonito. It's just such a lovely country, honestly. All us Brits love a good holiday in Spain, honestly. Right. I'm an Englishman, right? And we all love Spain for a holiday. We really do. Right. What is the Barrow Dock? Do you know? And the standby Q and H is going to be one zero two one. <coughs> there we go. And um, ILS, there is no ILS, actually yes there is. And it is 110.5. So, oh that's in there, oops. Oops. 110.5 and then put it, I just already set, silly noob. Oh dear. Rest in peace that graphics card, they do cost a lot of money don't they? And for it to go like that, oof that is not a stunt. Right, um, MCP alt sets, it's going to be 5000. So I'm just going to waft that right down. This may take ages but, you know. It's part of flight simming. My index finger is killing right now, scrolling on this mouse. Right, there we go, we finally got there. Right, okay, auto brake sets, we're going to use auto brake 2. Um, radio frequency, don't need that. And that is pretty much it really, the plane will descend by itself now. Old laptop, oh my god. 2012 laptop, oh my days. <clears throat> How big is the screen on it? About 10 inch. Doc, I need to know the barrow if you're there. Q and H one two one and Barrow four three one, much appreciated. Very nice, Mike. A way to save money. Oh my God. Outside it's grey and dull. Welcome to the UK. It's so grey right now. Winter is about to start all over again. Can't wait. Oh my god. But the Q&H talk is still useful to have. I appreciate the assistance. This is what happens, right, when uh, you don't have Navigraph or stuff like that. Right, Barrow. <laughs> god, don't worry about it, honestly. 
<laughs> no problem, Mark. See you soon. If you want to come back to London, that will be in about half an hour, I think. Right. It means minimum, Gav. The mould over stonks. Right, the MDA. Right. 431. I forgot how to set it. I know I haven't. You go on here. No. That. And then scroll up to 431. Oh my god. My index fin finger is bleeding. Setting the barrow and also setting the altitude. Oh my god. Help. Help me. How? It honestly feels like torture doing this. It really does. Right, there we go. Yep, take it easy, see you soon. And we are now over Sicily. I think. And Palermo is just to our left. Actually, no it's not, it's right down there. There's Palermo Airport, just there, and there's uh, Palermo City. And here's my livery, Papa. Now, Sicily, it's a, it's a very small island, but it's got about like, four airports. It's quite strange. But, you know. Yes, I have a Bermosa. Is that like relative? A relative and go on holidays in the US. Very nice, Petra. I have never been to the USA. But I have been to uh, Spain. Very nice country. Night rain. Nice. Oh my god. My tea tastes like literal ice. It really does. How do people drink iced tea? It tastes like shite. It really does. Oh yeah, I, I was thinking of like Hermana, which means sister, but never mind Hermosa, yeah. But I know Bonito means pretty, so I don't even know my Spanish, I really do. Right, we should start descent soon in like two miles let's get a wing view on the And that's it, we're going down now. Okay, down we go to Malta.
What's the um, course block for Malta? I think it's three. Uh, well, it's three one something. Well, it's either three o five to uh, um, three one five. Here there are twenty eight. I don't know what that means. Twenty eight alas four to Manana. Well, mañana, I think, is tomorrow, isn't it? So, here there are 28 hours until tomorrow. I think that's what that means, I don't know. I'm just guessing. I really am just guessing. Be back in one minute, just gonna get a uh, chocolate bar on my own. Oh yeah, 28 with the 4 a.m. No, my, my apologies. I, I was close, I really was. You liked and subbed, much appreciated. Thank you for the support. Oh dear, Doc. Oh dear. So let's change the runway now to 1 3. That means I've got to, I've got to like vector. Just to lose my heart issue and I can't be asked. I think I'll wind back at the time and just another few random I can't be asked. Alright, what what a place on at the moment. Yeah, I'm going to turn 3 1. I mean, it's not a massive change in wind, really. I mean, if it, if it does get bad, then I can just wham at the time. So the winds change. I should know that. No, because the weather stays the same, but the time just changes. So it, it, it doesn't make a difference. 
Yeah, I can't be arsed. I'm, I'm sticking 3 1. Actually, no. I want the approaching 1 3, so I'm gonna go to 1 3 actually. It's a better approach, I feel, so I'm gonna go to Rival. I'll go 1 3 via. What's it via, Doc? No idea what it's via. Has executed. Nah, I can still make this stock. We're fine. No via, okay. I think I'll be fine, Doc, because the approach into 1 3 is far much better than, than 3 1, so I'll go with 1 3. I can just go down faster. Oh my god, Doc, why? Oopsie. I've just messed about with the uh, Q and H now. Is that one oh two one? I'll just change it back. And the barrow is what? Four five five, okay. Welcome back, Mike. Just in time for the approach and landing. Possibly. Actually, no, I, I don't think it can make this approach. I think I'll stick to uh, one three still, but uh, it will be a bit of a challenge. Why does the wind have to change at this bloody time for? Imagine that is actually quite not stonks.
Let's see how this approach goes. That's what, that's what I want to see. Okay, the runway is just there. Possibly, we'll see, Mike. I'm not that high doc, I'm really not. I am using the speed brake doc. Best take after butter are definitely the um, bigger ones. Nah, I think I'm fine doc, you know. Well it is your fault doc for making me change the runway, I didn't really want to. Now, what I can do is I can just literally go like that. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do a strange-ass circle. So, we'll, uh, heading select. And I'm going to do a, uh, circle, like a weird-ass circle, and then get back onto, uh, Gozo. You're from Luxembourg. Hello, welcome. I am flying your airline today. How bothers? Yeah, just gonna do a circle just to lose some altitude right here. Hopefully, there's enough space between me, Doc, and Gav. Yeah, I think we're fine. <coughs> We're just doing a big turn now, we really are, it's a massive turn. Well, we're in a circle, you know, not, not a big turn. Oh, it's the exact same livery, was it? This, um, Capstuff Culture livery. Very nice livery. Right, so we're now back on, uh, flight plan course. Thank goodness for that.
No, you'll be fine, Gov, with plenty of space here. Right, back to Savina for now. Right, we'll flap to one. They are nice indeed, aren't they? I'm going to bring down this as well. Sorry that I can't turn that on. Oh well. Um, there is an RTX 2080 card. <clears throat> Looks there, 85 Luma, 12 my final on my on 3. Okay, flaps 15 gear down. Okay, here we go. Hopefully butter, maybe not. Maybe we mess it up so bad. Well, I don't have lag. You have lag on the stream, not my sim, because YouTube, it processes it. it the way it just codes it all, it's just wrong. It really is. All right, I'll now shut up. And I will land this plane, I'll uh, get back to you when I've landed. He does not need to hold stock, we've got plenty of space and it's not even goes out yet, we've, I'm miles ahead. Five miles looks uh, 85 Lima.
Approaching minimums. Two hundred minimums. One hundred fifty thirty twenty. Christ almighty! Right, there we go. Welcome to Malta. Lovely approach, and a lovely land as well. What a landing that was, honestly. Right. I'll just hold short here. And I think Gav is actually coming in fast. Possibly. We've got time. We do actually have time to uh, complete the checklist. Right. Auto brake. Off speed brake. Thingy. Flaps up. Um, landing lights off. Oh, my turn of lights off. Um, position lights steady. T cast, nanobird. APU starts and switch these to off. Probe heat off. I think guys about two minutes away now. Um, weather radar, terrain radar. Um, flight directs are off both sides, and we can start taxiing again. Let's see where Gav is. The parking brake still set. Sima Volanta, nice. Can you see Gav there as well? Is it close? Right. I've got to go a bit forward so we can vacate as well. Runway vacator looks uh, 85 Lima. No problem, Mike. See you soon. Actually, I can see Gaz lights actually. So I'll just wait here and then I'll set the parking brake and I'll get my drone and I'll go over to the runway real quick and we can watch his landing. Let me just bring down the speed a bit. I'll do and that's fine.
and I can see Duck in the back as well. 1500, not bad, I've timed it quite perfect. Apart from the fact now that I um, am on the middle of a taxiway, but it's not busy, so it's okay. Delta traffic, I'm at 613, localizer runway 13, 10 miles on the traffic. Oh no, it's not model matched. Oh dear Gov. Well, the Swiss was working fine for me earlier on. Maybe it's Osprey. But I swear he installed that actually. Watch the car on the runway, Gav. Here he comes. It's coming for the truck. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I think you got a different scenery, I don't know. It's soft spray when it's leased. Yeah, I think he's got a different scenery. Actually, I don't know, you know. I'll find out when it's in the screenshots. Right. I'm going to taxi to the gate. And then we should catch Doc. Because I'm in the way of Gav at the moment, so we need to move. Alta traffic, Arma 613, 5 miles, and also 5 miles. I'm in the way of Gav at the moment. Alta traffic. I'll just park it here and then we'll go and watch uh, Doc. Actually, I think I get the engine off first. Right. Parking brake on, APU gym bus on. It is nice indeed. But now I've got to go and watch dog. Actually, it's a bit far away, yeah. And it even says Malta International Airport, so. And when you go away, it disappears. Weird. But anyway. Let's go and watch dog. It's flying Air Malta, I believe. And we do have his livery installed, which is good. We don't have Osprey, but we have got Air Malta, so that's fine. Yes, Stark, I am going to watch London as if I would not. So Osprey, for some reason, I don't have the Emerald machine, but I swear to God, we're installed. But Emerald to works at least. We'll pretend it's another leased aircraft from Osprey because they are so poor, they lease all their planes. Rip. I think that is um, the army base as well, just there. This is where they park all the fighter jets. I'm not sure there. Anyway, here comes Doc. It's flying Emerald. <coughs> Looking a bit low here. Here 
Here he is though, he's it's like he's saved it. There he is, look. Look at that centre line. Oh no, wrong button. Quick, 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 quick. Minus 300, you know, that's not bad. If it's between minus 100 and minus 300, it is decent on average. What a livery that is, honestly. The Indonesians, they are great pilots, aren't they? They really are. Malta traffic, car Malta 613, forget to turn me 13. Malta traffic. Okay, back into the cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> For God's sake, this cold is pissing me off. Ah, dear. Right, Pro Pete wants to be off. Already is off, never mind. Ever radar, flight director. I've already done all this. Right, APU, engine type is Pro B off. Uh, flight director off, yeah. Speed 100 knots. Altitude 100. Uh, parking brake. Anti collision light off. Um, wipers chime only off. Seatbelt signs off as well. Um, hydraulic pumps can also go off. Isolation valve open. Um, wheel chock set one moment. One menu, FS actions, ground services, set the chocks, request ground power, get the stairs out, there we go, target zero. Right, okay. Then we get the ground power on and APU off. Then we go back to here, fuel pumps. You don't turn those off if you are flying uh, the return. If you're in a cold and dark shutdown, then you turn them off, but I'm doing a transition shutdown. Actually, I don't know. Do you turn them off or not? No, I think you keep them on, you know. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, if you're doing a cold and dark shutdown, yeah, you turn them off, but I'm doing a transition, so I don't turn them off. Right, so you want now the uh, forward loader carts that that. Pax bus at the bus as well. Lol. <coughs> so yeah, if you're flying a return flight, you just do this shutdown, it's called a transition. So I'm done. But if you're in a cold and dark shutdown where you turn the plane off completely, then you will turn the fuel pumps off. But in real life, they would fly this plane back to Luxembourg, so they wouldn't turn it off completely. They would just do a transition shutdown. Like this. And of course, dock parts parks right over there right let me just um, get Volante open oops so here was my flight there's a random circle here because the runway changed and we had to lose some altitude so 
be mastered that big time. Minus 301, you know what, it's not that bad. The G-Force is what matters, 1.02, that's great, it really is. Very smooth touchdown, the passengers, they would have never felt that touchdown, honestly. Luxembourg, that's a great freeway. I may fly back there in the future, because it has a great scenery. And same for Malta as well. Very nice little airport, isn't it? Let me just uh, get the drone and we'll get a nice screenshot. Actually, that is perfect, you know. Look at that. There we go. Right, and uh, we'll go for a little tour around Malta. Look for some churches or something. Oh my god, it is pissing it down outside. Oh my days. I think you can hear it on this stream. Listen to that. Oh my lord. Yikes. Absolutely pissing it down. Lol. Right, anyway. So, Malta. It's got two islands, I think. And if it's lagging on a stream, I apologise. Down there is the port. I'm not going to go there, though, because it's pointless. And we've got another port down here, I think. And I've got a racetrack, whatever that is. But I want to see St. Paul's Cathedral. Um, I think it's somewhere around here. Um, Valletta is... Uh, I don't know if it's I've got no idea where Valletta is. And here is a sports stadium for Malta. I think it's for their national football team players here. If it's a bit laggy, I'm sorry. I really am. It's actually quite nice, this, you know. It's where Malta play their football. How pog is that, honestly? Malta FC, what football team? <coughs> there is a cathedral somewhere. I saw it on approach and I can't remember where exactly it is. Gozo is over there. Where is that church? It's around here somewhere. I swear it is, honestly. Do you know what? I can't find that church and I'm getting so annoyed right now. Not stonks. Minus three, three, four. I beat your dog. Man was better. But it looks smooth though on the stream. Oh my god, where the hell is this church, man? I swear I saw it on approach. Unless it's a bit further down here. Yeah, I can't find it, honestly. Let me just retrace my steps. That would be a very smart idea. Oh my god, I just, I just cannot find the church, honestly. Oh, there it is! There it is! Here it is! I think it's some, like, big church. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's here. And it looks bloody great, honestly. <coughs> I think it's called something like St. Paul's Cathedral. Let me just check. St. Paul's Cathedral. I th no. Actually, where's this? Is this it now? Whereabouts is that then? No, what? That should. This is this, I think. Um, Mosta Rotunda. Yeah, this is Mosta Rotunda. Imagine doing a church tour. 
But it's Malta, Doc. It's like the most Christian country in the world, Malta. So they've got lots of churches, so... We're going to have a look at them all. And the next church we're going to have a look at... <laughs> is this one, I think. Is this it here? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, this is it, St. Paul's Cathedral. Look at this. Honestly, that is... That is beautiful. Look at this church. Look at the effort a server have put into this. This lovely church right here. It is huge, honestly. Get some screenshots for this day. Eh? Right, what else is it to see? I want to have a look at um, Valletta, the capital of Malta. Let me see where that is. It's on the um, east side somewhere. Actually, I think that's it there. Just here. Let's hop over there. <clears throat> Imagine. Today's stream we've had Luxembourg to Malta, a coffee, a game of GeoGuessr, and some church spotting. Well, it's been great, hasn't it, honestly? So here's the letter, the capital of Malta. Honestly, Malta is it's just so good, honestly. Everyone should fly here, it's so good. Lovely approach into 1 3, it's something else. So here's the letter a capital of Malta. Very small, but very nice. And this ship appears to have sunk. Rip. Yeah, very nice, honestly. Um, I think it was updated with the world update, but now, well, not now, but I think it's a missed opportunity from a Sobo to add Malta Airport, and I'm quite sad they didn't add it. But we've, we've got a freeware instead, which is here. And yeah, that's pretty much it, really. The next stream, then, is going to be tomorrow. We're flying from Leipzig in Germany eastwards um, down to Moldova Chisinau with Air Moldova my favourite airline in the world and yeah I'll see you then in the Phoenix but for now it's goodbye and thanks to Gavin Duff for flying along Coco Lada not flying again it's starting to have a bit thin now Hergie it really is Right, let's get a screenshot of that, and there we go. Look at that. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow, from Light Wizard to Kishinau. And also, there will be a surprise in tomorrow's stream, and I can't wait to show you what it's going to be. You're going to be amazed. Goodbye, folks. Thank you, again, much appreciated. I am the greatest streamer in the world, and also, I've timed it that perfect, if you want to fly with Bag um, on his stream today from, uh, I think it's called like Naha to Boys, I don't know, but I've timed it that well. If you want to fly along with him, you, sh you, can, you can sure can. So uh, adios folks, and thank you for flying to Malta, because what a country it is honestly. Bye! See you in Moldova. <laughs> what even happened Gav? It pretty just went on the um, on the grass like dog does.